Hello again everybody and welcome back to the show. It's the host Jay and we are the Noob with a Brush channel which is the internet's biggest unknown channel it is and as well a little treat for you today it is as you could see by the logo it's the RBBL it's the it's the uh, Blood Bowl League that we are setting up on the channel and at our local gaming club so we've got a little bit of an exhibition match for you it's between me and my friend Griff and before we start I want to say a big thank you to our man Griff because I lost footage of a previous game I was quite devastated and on his way out to work he managed to squeeze in a game of Blood Bowl which we put together ready for the channel so it's a bit of a recap and it's a little short burst of what happened is I might change the format for the for the next video but at the moment this was a format that we could get out quick um, we were just giving you highlights about what was happening each turn I will warn you I did lose track of what turn we were on at one point because you might hear me say four about five times but I have got all the video in order so you'll see the flow of the game it is chaos versus undead and if you guys enjoy this we're going to be doing a lot more videos on the channel for this it's going to be a few exhibition matches to begin with and then we're hopefully going to go into a full-blown league later in the year we did plan for it to go ahead now but there's been a few rejigs with the club and on that note I want to give a big th thank you and a big shout out to the gaming club that allowed us to video this it is the Ronda Gaming Club and as you can see on your screen right there, there is a poster that's going on the internet for the club I'm going to share it here because these boys were good enough to give us a home for the channel and for us to be able to set up our Blood Bowl League with them so if you guys are in the Ronda area and you can make it to the club because I believe they got the address on here please come and join us I am there every Sunday so pop in say hello tell everybody that the noob have sent you and yeah if you want to get your 40k on you want to get your aos on or you just want to have your blood bowl match they are more than accommodating they're a fantastic group of people and i can't praise them enough and yeah i hope we can do a lot more with them in the future so that's not why you were here you were here because i promised you a blood bowl match so because I'm rambling now we're going to get straight into it so before we start I apologize for the audio because I think I was still getting used to the attachable mic for the video camera because I'm, I'm such a dunce that I don't get on with technology that well but please bear with it and I hope you all comment like and subscribe at the end and stick around for future content if you enjoy it and also on that note please share it with your friends thank you very much and i'll let you get on with the feature presentation hello everybody welcome back to the channel it's jay playing blood, blood bowl with your boy griff and we are testing out the undead team i won the coin toss so i'm going to kick off first we're just about to do the weather and game effects so let's crack on Right guys, we've just kicked off and 
my fans have thrown a rock. So I'm trying to decide which one should I go through. Do you know what? I think I'm going to pick a mummy. So let's see how that goes. So I chose a mummy that was by there. And he is now there. So it's easier for my front line. So let's see what happens in turn one. Right guys, undead turn one. And we've had a bit of movement. One beastman has taken a nap. But there's a lot to play for. So let's see what the chaos team will do next. Right then guys, the end of Chaos Turn 1 and it doesn't look like we've moved a lot. We've gone back into our positions but we've got one less player because he's dead in the bin. So all in all, good start. So let's see how the undead come back. So let's have a look at Turn 2. Right then guys, Undead Turn 2 being a bit of an eventful game. Got a tussle going by here. We've had Beastman going to sleep down here. Don't know whether you can see that. That is a bit of a tussle going on. We're winning the battle over there. And I got Beastman being outnumbered there. But the ball is still up for grabs, so it's anyone's game. But I'm going on to my turn two now, so let's see what happens. Right then guys, Chaos turn 2, and here we got, here we got, 2 on the 1, 3 on the 1, one guy out on his own, one guard and a down player, little skirmish, and I will run away, so not Dan Bugger. There's nobody killed this round, but we are looking in a strong position. Except for me being a dunce. I didn't call, you know, turn two. So illegal procedures means I lose a reroll. So I'm down to nothing. So let's go into undead turn three. Right then, we've got Undead turn 3. Not a lot has changed, except there's a few people having a nap. Griff, how do you feel you were turn 3 has gone so far? Absolutely Te terrible. Yeah? What was your plan going into it? Oh, nice. Well, that's generally the Chaos team's plan, so let's do that into turn 3. Let's go. Right then guys, Chaos turn 3, I'm going to admit I got a little bit greedy, took out the second mummy, he's knocked out at the moment, but it was through dirty tactics, so I've got to play a sent off, but yeah, it seems mostly Chaos on the pitch, i still got a little bit of running space, so let's see how the undead catch up in turn 4. Right, guys, it's the quickest turn four I have ever seen. Zombie tried dodging out of space, but is, as you can see, he's having a little bit of a nap. How do you feel about that quick turn four? Absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Devastating. Here we go, guys. Chaos turn five. What do we see? Couple of resting and dead. Yeah, but your boy has just scored a touchdown. So let's set back up. Right, guys, we've just restarted now. It's going to be undead turn five. So they're kicking off back to the team. So we've just rolled for weather. We've got perfect weather. So He's elected for the ball to land there, so we're going to roll dice. Mm -hmm. 
we got a 7 and 1. So it goes there. I'm going to roll that dice again. 2. So the ball effectively didn't go anywhere. So here it is. So now we're going to roll for we're going to roll for kickoff effects. So bear with us. Right. Uh, unfortunately, we've got to throw a rock again. So Griff, what's your opinion on throw a rock? I hate throw a rock. Twice you've been hit with it. So what do I do, guys? Do I go for a heavy hitter? Do I take out one of his fast boys? Tell me if I'm wrong for making this decision, but I'm going to pick up the mummy again. So, yeah, he's going to go and have a little bye-bye nap. So here we go. mummy -less. The face of anguish. This guy's going to attack Here we go, guys. We're going straight into the undead turn six because all I've done is pick up a ball Try to create a few gaps, but at the end of the day, our boy John is down on the floor. So, let's see what the Undead can do to show up the gaps and see if they can stop the next play. So, it's been an exciting first half, I think. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Alright guys, I'm sorry if these are quick and short, but that's how the game plays. Undead turn six. Six it was for you, wasn't it? Sick, uh, yeah, six. And I'm one player down. The mighty beastman is taking a nap. But as you can see, we still got some nice gaps. So play is nice and open. So let's see what happens now in my turn eight. And let's hope that we can get this two scores up. Right. Another admittance, boys. My turn. I was trying to be greedy. And he's down. So we're quickly going into turn 8 for the zombies. Tommy. Turn 7 for the zombies. And right, I'm saying zombies, so that's all that's left on the pitch. So, can they get to my thrower? Let's see the, what fun things are in store. So, the final turn of the first half we're still 1-0 but we're well I hate to say it we're looking a bit lighter because the box for undead is looking mighty full so Griff what do you make of the first half a bloodbath if I a bloodbath truthful so, thank God for regeneration. Otherwise, the game would be over. Right. So, are you going to stick with these for the RBBL? Yes. So, by the RBBL, you'll be trouncing the rest of us. So no, I'll still be in the cable box. And you'll still be there. Well, I'll be joining you because the way I roll is... I can break armor, but I can't do a lot else with it. But, he says, he see the box with it. But, we got another half to go. And we only one nil up, so let's see if we can change the outcome. Right, so we are set up for the second half. As you can see, I got one in the sin bin for dirty play, I got one that's still knocked out, but I'm one nil up. The knockout box is looking decidedly empty, except for one player, and we've got one in reserve, but it's all to play for, so let's see if the undead can, well, kick my ass basically, because I've got a feeling they are going to kick my ass. So, we're going to roll off for weather, so roll a d6 prep, 6, 6, 12, so the weather is blizzard. And now let's do the, let's do the kick off. So I want to pick the two dice. We've got three, three. So that's back. 
here. When they bounce, which is now an eight, there. So it's deep in the in deep in the end of half. So let's see here what they come up with. We'll be back after movements. So yeah, let's see what they do. One thing we we forgot to mention is the kickoff table, which we had a blitz, so I can charge in to make it a bit more awkward. But he still got his big nasties out, so yeah, I don't, do I really want to be running too far? That's the question. Mm. Right then, guys. Undead, turn one. It's looking a bit better for him than the first half. There's a lot of chaos down, which means there's not a lot going to happen by end. But let's see if I can stop that ball getting further up the pitch. So, see you at the end of my turn one. Right, guys. Chaos turn one. And it seems to be a bit of a rumble on the pitch. We are another player down. Sorry, Griff. He's out for the count. Failed his regen, but it's still all to play for because there's a well, there's a big scrum in the middle, just the way the Welsh players like it. So on to undead turn two. Right then, guys, end of turn two for both undead and chaos because we forgot to pick the camera up. So as you can see, ball carrier is down and taking a little nap in the knockout bin. We've got the ball loose. We've got nice empty areas that uh, players can run in. We've got a mummy out for the count. So let's see if we can capitalise on this or if the undead is just going to plug the gap. So let's go into turn three. See you on the other side. Right then guys, undead. Turn three, and it's the undead advance. They're shambling towards us. I got a lot of players tied up, so it's not looking good. It looks like this could possibly be a tie by the end of turn five if I uh, don't shift my ass. But it's turn three, so let's see what I can do. Right, start of the undead turn four. So as we can see, there's a lot of zombies lying down. Ball is loose again. But I think it's still doable for the undead. So, as we see, let's start the round. Right then guys, undead, turn four. So... We still got our scrum in the middle, but we're going to see what happens now in this chaos turn four, because hopefully we can, well, we can stop them just coming into my side of the pitch. Right, end of chaos turn four, and it's looking a bit better for me because there's actually players down. And there's starting to come back on the offensive. So Griff has now just decided he wants to drop his guts. So let's clear the room when he's doing his turn five. It's the end of turn five, guys. Going into turn six. And at the moment, there seems to be a lot of undead that don't know what they're doing. Seem to be a bit tied up. And we've got... Ooh. Some blitz action going on. One dice. This is the undead's turn six going on. Oh, he oh, oh, fell shit. down. You just watched the quickest turn. So, let's have a look. Break your armour on eight. eight. Yes. Broken armour. See what happened. Stunned. Eat. 
do it. Sorry, Griff. <laughs> Chaos turn six. Right, Chaos turn six, guys. There's a lot of players down, but... Touchdown! So I wish this was an exhibition match. I would have had a lot of star player points, but... Hey, oh, name of the game. Let's set back up quickly. Right, guys, end of turn seven for both teams. We're open on this wing. Looking nice and meaty in the middle. Tied up now on that wing. Which, in the closing turns, I think it's going to, game's going to end 2-0. So, let's just see how much damage the undead can do. So, it's the start of turn 8. Right, end of turn 8 and the end of the game. 2-0 to Chaos. We, well, I think I played to my strength and just tried to injure you. As we can see over here, there's a few in the injury table. But then I'm not without any injuries and knockouts because... I'm kind of filling up there, but main thing is, victory there, so, first video on the channel, thank fuck I won. Right then guys, that's the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed, I'm sorry again about the audio, it's a little bit heavy breathing, like I was really enjoying it, but uh, still trying to get used to that uh, camera and microphone setup. So please bear with me on that. Hopefully within a few videos I will be able to get it sorted. Right, before I carry on, quick drink of the tea. Right. At the end there you can see Chaos Victory 2-0. But even so, I was rocking out in the knockout box. So, all to play for again next time. Uh, I... To know who I'm playing next, but I'll take my camera and hopefully I can video it again. Before I finish this video, I want to say a big thank you to Griff because he, like I said, he jumped in, he allowed me to video the game, and then he went off, worked all night working on the railway system. So he's a trooper and a good friend of the channel probably see a lot more of him in the future i want to say thank you again to the rom the gaming club for allowing us to uh video at the club and like i said i would love to be able to do more videos with the club so let's go back through the tech sheet i've given a big thank out to griff i've given a big thank out to the gaming club Rom the gaming club i salute you sirs let you know that we've got a PayPal and a Patreon. If uh, you want to subscribe, win a winner chicken dinner on my behalf. Also, we have a Teespring store. So if you want to get your noob on, feel free to uh, pick up some gear. Hopefully by the next video I will be sporting my own hoodie. So, you know, if I if I put it up there for people, people to buy, I'm going to buy it myself. So, yeah, I'll be rocking out to my new boy soon. So, again, I just want to say thank you to everybody. I shall see you on the next video. And I can't wait to hear from you guys. See you on the other side.